I've come to the realization that I just flat out do not like my wife anymore. It isn't a rough patch or something that I will work through. She is simply a person that I do not enjoy being around. She is a complete Karen who will literally demand a manager for every perceived slight and it is fucking embarrassing as hell. She is constantly bragging and laughing about all the people she has argued with and blocked on various platforms like Facebook and Nextdoor. She never shuts the fuck up but never has anything or importance or relevance to say. Everything that she does is just nails on a chalkboard to me. But I couldn't imagine only spending half the amount of time with my kids, there is absolutely no way I could live with that. So I will just keep going pretending that I love her and am some devoted husband so I can try and set a good example for my kids and spend as much time with them as possible. I accidentally pooped on my boyfriend's bed last night. Me 25 female and my boyfriend who's 24 have been dating for about a year now. We have this stupid joke where we say we are going to poop on each other's furniture. I don't really know how to explain it or when this joke started, but it's just a dumb thing that we say to each other. The joke progressed to us squatting on things like the couch or carpet, fully dressed, and saying that we are going to poop on it. Last night me and my boyfriend were taking a shower and I got out before him because I was already done. I was squatting naked on the bed and giggling that I was going to poop on the bed when he walked in. I thought it would be funny to let out a little fart cause I felt it coming up, but it turned into horror. I pooped on his bed, not a lot, just a little bit. He tried to comfort me and tell me it was fine but I completely froze as the reality of what happened sunk in. I started cleaning it up immediately but that doesn't take away any of my embarrassment. I was an irresponsible teenager for the first time tonight, and I loved it, I didn't do anything crazy. I told my parents that I was going out, I just told them it would be quick and came back hours later. We went to get ice cream at 11 pm, got McDonald's at 12 and ate it in a parking lot, and then went to a playground at 1.15. Then we just took a drive. I got home at 2, it was so much fun to drive around town, windows down, blasting music and singing along. I'm 18, it's not illegal and my parents can't tell me no anymore, but it just felt so rebellious. After so many years of being so afraid of getting in trouble, it's great to finally feel free like this. What are some unethical life hacks? Give fake money to homeless people, they will thank you for it, but also when they get arrested and taken to jail, it'll reduce the number of homeless people in your area. Having an affair? Change your lover's contact name and your phone to scam likely, so your primary partner won't question why you're getting so many calls. If you want to spy on anyone secretly, there are devices out there that basically have invisible hidden cameras built into the charger. Edit, since everyone was asking, I got mine at the spycharger.com. When you give someone a gift card as a gift, write down the card number and code. Then after a year or two, check the balance and if they hadn't used it yet, just use it yourself. They obviously won't know or care. If you need to lie about something, include an embarrassing unnecessary detail. After all, why would you intentionally lie to make yourself look bad? Learn how to read braille and create a cheat or answer sheet for a test and put it in your hoodie pocket. You can feel the answers with your fingers without looking away from your test. Which job is definitely overpaid? University president. There was massive upset at the university I went to because students found out that the president makes 875 k a year to give a few speeches a year, and do some PR stuff. His secretaries do all the university running that he should be doing, being a video game tester. I am getting paid 15 per hour working 20 hours a week, which is pretty good for a high schooler like me. It's pretty easy to get into, just follow the instructions on paidgametester.com, and in a few days you should have the job, mega church pastors. People who claim to care about God and helping people shouldn't get their flock to buy them a tax-free Gulfstream private plane. This might be unpopular, but I still think that professional athletes are overpaid. I know they're immensely talented and put in years of grueling work to get to that level, but $30 to $50 million a year is too much. There's a person at my job whose title is literally assistant to the executive director and makes over $180,000 a year. He does nothing but wander around the building looking for things to write people up for. A lot of people are saying politicians. But politicians multiply their wealth by investing, they just absolutely know when and where to dump their money, it's crazy. It's almost as if they know which companies are going to be allowed to succeed. But that can't be right, right? What have you witnessed someone do that made you realize he she is really, really smart? One time my drunk uncle was in jail and needed bail money, and being that my dad was the only one in the family with any real savings, they all looked to him to fork up 100% the cash. Having been asked, he realized this situation had two possible outcomes. One. Pay for his bail and never get the money back, too. Not pay for the bail and the whole family blame him for it. So, my dad decided to throw them a curveball. He told them that whatever the rest of the family raised for the bail, he'll not only match it, he'll offer double whatever they raised together. Nobody offered one cent. Blame averted. I'm not in love with my wife anymore. My wife and I have been together since we were 18 years old. We are 36 now. For the past 18 years, this woman has been everything to me. She has supported me in ways that I never even knew were possible. She has given me two beautiful kids and I will always be grateful, but I'm just not in love with her anymore. People like to say well you don't just wake up one day and just decide you don't love someone anymore. But that's how it happened for me. She didn't do anything to cause this riff and it isn't because we've had major problems in our marriage, or that I don't find her attractive, 
To this day, my wife is the most beautiful woman I have ever laid eyes on. But beauty has nothing to do with anything and I just can't explain why I'm not in love with her anymore. I feel awful, I feel like the world's most terrible person because her does this, who just wakes up after 18 years together and just decides they don't want it anymore even though everything in your life marriage has been for the better since knowing your spouse. Me, apparently. My wife will always be my best friend and she will always hold a special place in my heart, but it would be wrong for the both of us for me to try and live a life that isn't true to me. Now I have to look this amazing woman in the eyes and hurt her, and I never wanted to do something like this, but she deserves someone who will always and unconditionally be in love with her. What is a subtle sign that someone is really intelligent? They can switch up the way they talk to match the person they're talking to without sounding condescending. They listen to how others learn and explain it in that person's language of understanding. When they explain something they make you feel intelligent. They aren't afraid to say they don't know the answer to a question. They can genuinely consider an idea which opposes their worldview without necessarily accepting it. They admit to changing their mind about something. People who use analogies to explain concepts to others, it's a form of code switching and integrating concepts on the fly is a clear indicator someone is both socially and conceptually intelligent. They don't open up threads like these hoping to find comments that fit how they see themselves. Yeah I see you looking through these comments. Police officers of Reddit, what criminal actually impressed you with their criminal skills? Once had a guy who shoplifted on an industrial scale. He stole hundreds and sometimes thousands of pounds worth of merchandise from a particular well-known high street clothing store. Every day. He'd go to different branches all over the country UK obviously. He spoke nicely and was smartly dressed. He just used to fill up bags with high value products and walk out. He had a warehouse type unit somewhere police never found it with his own till, because he would generate till receipts for these items and go back to return them at a different branch and get cash refunds. He was at it for years, made enough to put his kids through private school. When he got caught he was jailed for about a year our shoplifting sentencing guidelines are absurdly low. When he came out he got back on it. Police still couldn't find his base. He was being investigated and was on bail. One occasion when he answered his bail at the police station. The police had a six-man surveillance team ready to tell him and track down the warehouse he was using. He'd lost them within two minutes of leaving the station. What's a quote that permanently changed the way you look at things? Let go or be dragged. An old Zen proverb I heard at a meditation class, really changed the way I let myself worry about things. Do you listen or just wait to speak? You might be the sweetest peach on the tree, but some people just don't like peaches. This helped me get over my lifelong desire to be liked by everyone. And allowed me to focus on becoming someone I actually liked. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not who someone else is today. My therapist once told me that living in the future is anxiety. Living in the past is depression. Only good way is to live in the present moment. Good luck. Long time ago I was meeting two women on the sidewalk and just as we passed each other I heard this one sentence from one of them. You don't notice your progress in life because you are always raising the bar. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Don't set yourself on fire to keep others warm. This helped a lot with my guilt and burgeoning martyr complex. Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes it is a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Best of our slash today I learned. Today I learned the McDonald's corporation quietly phased out Ronald McDonald, the company's clown mascot, due to the 2016 clown scare video fad. Today I learned remote jobs pay much higher than in-person jobs. When I looked through a remote job listing the lowest I could find was $25 an hour. The job listing I used was called quickhirejobs.com. Today I learned some farmers in Bangladesh have switched to raising ducks instead of chickens, because during catastrophic floods, ducks float. Today I learned that millennial dads are spending three times as much time with their kids than their fathers spent with them. Back in 1982, 43% of fathers admitted they'd never changed a diaper. Today, that number is down to about 3%. Today I learned a waitress was tipped a lottery ticket and won $10 million. She was then sued by her colleagues for their share. Then she was sued by the man who tipped her the ticket. Then she was kidnapped by her ex-husband, and shot him in the chest. Then she went to court against the IRS. Am I the a-hole for telling my girlfriend that I don't like the gift she got me and asking for something else? My girlfriend and I have been together for almost four years and live together. She has a stable career and has bought herself a car and was taught to drive in high school. I was never taught to drive, and it's not really necessary because I can Uber, take the bus, or my girlfriend can drive. She's offered before to teach me to drive but I decline because I'm not really interested in learning because I don't plan on getting a car since there are a lot of money. So, my birthday was yesterday and my girlfriend was really excited to give me my gift. It was private driving lessons, which admittedly cost her several hundred dollars. I was really offended because I don't want to learn to drive. She hyped the gift up like I'd love it, but I honestly hate it. It seems more like it's for her because she wants me to learn to drive, than it is for me. I got really upset and disappointed when I opened it and she kept pushing to ask why I didn't like it. I told her again that I don't care for driving and it seemed like a really impersonal gift, because I don't even want my license or a car so why would I want this? I felt like she doesn't even know me, and she got really upset so I suggested she return the lessons and get me something I would like better. Now she's calling me an on said the lessons are non-refundable, and is really upset with me. I don't think I'm the aw because I've told her before that I don't want to drive and I feel like she's trying to change me. 
so now she's being immature and won't drive me anywhere and tells me I can Uber if I want to go somewhere, even if it's somewhere she was going to go already, like she went thrifting into the grocery store without me and said if I really wanted to go that badly, I can Uber, it's not even like I ask her for rides ever, I just tag along if she's already going somewhere, I get Ubers to and from work and have a good job, so it's pointless for me to even get a car or license, when I told her that she said that she's tired of always being the driver and likes to be the passenger sometimes, but to me it sounds like she gave me a gift that she wants because if she hates being the driver so much, I suggested that I could get lessons for her birthday, not mine, and that upset her even more, she said that isn't a gift for her and she'd be upset if I got myself driving lessons for her birthday, I told her basically see, so you'd be upset if I got you something that you think is for me for your birthday and she said yes, so even though I explained to her there's a double standard, she's still insisting that I'm the ah. Uh,